Hey, it's Brandon Styles, and today we're going to be going over Shape.so. Shape.so is a pretty new service that allows you to add customizable animated icons to your app using some pretty simple code. You can change the sizes, you can change the colors, and like this says, they're even animated. So one of the big styles nowadays is to have all these animated illustrations, and usually you've got to send them off and get them switched out and all that kind of stuff. No more with this kind of stuff, and best of all, they're adding new illustrations and icons all the time. Today. I'm going to show you how to add these to your website. Check it out. The first thing you're going to want to do to get this going is go to shape.so. And that pulls up. You can kind of scroll down and see what all this does. A lot of cool companies are using it. And here's what you get. You get like animated icons. Uh, you can change the styles and make all kinds of different colors. And it's just really easy in, in a single place or repository to find these different icons that are so popular nowadays. There you get a little preview of the animated icon. You can see it for a second. So let's go ahead and sign up for this. So all you're going to do is you can purchase this for $60 at this point um, and, and that gets you lifetime access. So you just click on purchase and then you're going to sign up. I've already signed up. You just enter your credit card basically and then it takes you to this. So if you look over here, here are all your icons. Here are your animated icons. So these are the ones that move. So if you click on one in the bottom, you can see what it does. So if you click on backwards, it kind of does that. Here are the different illustrations that they have and you can kind of change the grid layouts if you want to see fewer or more. But I like to kind of keep it here. And so you can also change the color of these. So maybe your colors are this dark blue and dark red. Well, you can click that and it will change it to that. You can also do custom colors. So maybe your primary colors like this one right here. There you go. And it kind of changes it. So it makes it really easy. And then you just copy the code over to whatever your app is. And then finally, the coolest ones are these animated illustrations. So if you click on this one, and at the bottom right here, you can see what that little guy is doing. You can make it bigger if you want to. That's really cool. You can change the colors. Here's kind of like a Lakers one. Maybe the Lakers could use this one. Uh, here's like a pink and blue one. So really super versatile component. And then here are the, uh, here's the code for it. So you can change the size easily, which I'll show you in a little bit. And you can also choose what kind of code you want to download. So if you're doing a React app, you can download a React component. If you want to do just a regular JSON, then you can do JSON, export it as any kind you want. Um, so these, I believe, are probably limited to a React app, but stuff like this up here, you actually have SVGs. Okay, not in that one either. Icons, you have the SVGs so that you can take these from anywhere. And as you can see, that there are, there are a lot of of different icons that you can use. So I'm going to show you how to implement a couple of these. Let's go ahead and create a React app. So I am going to open Visual Studio Code. And then let's just say something like npx create React app icon fun. And then first I want to cd into my desktop and create that. So we should see that pop up over here. There it is, icon fun. And once this finishes loading, we're going to open that file and start building. All right, we finished building that. So now we just need to CD in to icon fun. And then we need to start it up by doing and yarn start. And I always do this in the reverse order. So we're just going to have to open it and restart the app. So go to my desktop, open icon fun, opens a new terminal right here. And then we're going to do yarn start. All right, so our React app is going right here. So now let's go in and clear out some stuff. I'm gonna open up source. I'm gonna come into app.js and all this code right here is just essentially this page right here. So let's go ahead and delete that. I'm going to delete everything between the headers and then we're going to type in h1 and I, this is our app, Apple S to save. And then when we come back over here, we should just see this is our app. There we go. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to bring in these components right here in a React app. So let's say I wanted to do one of these animated illustrations. I'm going to pick one. Let's just say it's this guy or these people working on a machine or something like that. And let's say I wanted to do this blue and black. Or let's say I wanted to do my own custom colors. So let's just pick out these. And then for our secondary color, let's kind of do um, a red or something like that. 
That's kind of, that's fine. All right, I'm gonna come up to the code here and I'm going to select a React component. And all you're gonna do is copy this code. So essentially we just copied a component. Let's come back over to our React app. And under source, I wanna create a new folder. This is where we can store all these animated icons. So let's just call this folder components. And then under here, I'm gonna create a new file and I'm just gonna call it working on machine. And I'm just gonna paste it in here. All right, so we have now pasted our app and you can see it's, it's created everything. Like it's already imported React, it's imported Lottie, which is uh, what, what these icons are built on and it exports it. So it exports this class icon, but we can call it whatever we want. Like we can call it working on machine and then we just need to save it. And then if we come over here, we can import working on machine. So I'm gonna create a little component section and then I'm going to say import working on machine from, and this is from a directory up in our, oops, right here in our components and then working on machine. And all we need to do is import it right here, working on machine, close it. And then if we save, and we come back over to our app. Uh, that's right, sorry, there's a dependency. So we have to actually uh, yarn add react Lottie. That's what kind of makes this go. So I'm gonna open a new terminal right here and you can type yarn add react Lottie. Or if you're using NPM, it would be NPM install react Lottie. Let's give this a second to add. All right, that's done. Now, if we save this and we open up our app, Let's close out of this terminal, so here's the other one. Now if we open this up inside of our app, we should see the animated icon, and there it is. So it's extremely easy to add these kind of icons to your React app, all right? Let's see if we wanted to make that a little bit smaller and kind of center it up, all right? So what we need to do is come over to working on the machine component, and we just wanna make it a little bit smaller. See, it's really big right now. There's a lot of code that goes into making these little animated icons, but if we scroll down to the bottom, we can see that we can make these a lot smaller. So even if you take off the ending zero in these, and then we refresh, our little component has been made a lot smaller. That's the cool thing about these SVGs is that you can instantly control the size of them and they're not going to ever be too big, right? So I might even uh, cut that in half. So let's just say something like, I don't know, 500 by uh, 600. Save that, and then all of a sudden it's going to be this different size in just a minute when it refreshes, good, and that's a much more manageable size. So this loads up and works on anything. It's a really cool way to get some more engaging animations inside your web app. So let's go back and let's add in just some of the animated icons in here. So I'm gonna go up to this animated icon set all right, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come into our app inside of, let's put this above our class. So I wanna do a div, and I want to create a span, and let's just duplicate that. So we've got three spans, and then inside the spans, I want to put these different icons. So we're gonna do the exact same, use the exact same methodology that we just used. So let's say this is all in a Lakers color scape. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a trash bin. I'm just gonna copy this code. And we're gonna bring it over here to our components. We're gonna add a new file. And we're gonna call it trash.js. And we're gonna paste in that code that we just borrowed from the trash can right here. And we just need to change this name from icon to trash or whatever you wanna call it. I just called it trash. Let's save that. Let's bring in another one. So let's bring in this little Wi-Fi signal right here. All right, I'm gonna copy that. Make sure it's the Wi-Fi one, yep. So we're gonna copy that. Let's add a new component and let's call it wifi.js. I'm gonna paste that in there. It's pasted and save it. And then let's get one more, let's get this little bell right here. So I'm gonna copy that code. Come over here to components, add it, let's call it bell.js, bell for JavaScript, paste it in, and then save it. All right, now the last thing we have to do is we have to come in and change these names. So here is bell, and then under here is Wi-Fi. Cool. So we can go back into our app.js, 
and we can import in the rest of these components. So I'm going to type import bell from component slash bell. Then what I'm gonna do is duplicate these and then I'm going to select bell and select the next instance of it. We're gonna change it to Wi-Fi. And then I'm going to select this and the next instance, change it to trash. And then I just want to bring these in in these spans right here, okay? So let's take this span and let's add a bell and close it. Inside of this span, let's add, oops, let's add our Wi-Fi, don't forget to close it. And then finally, in this little span right here, Let's add our trash and then close off the component. So now when we hit save and we come back to our app, we're going to see these little icons that are self animating and they match the colors of, uh, that we chose for this app. And again, if you wanna change the size, you can just come into like this trash one and change the height to let's say 15 pixels and save it. This will affect the trash can and now if we come back, you can see that the trash can has been uh, shortened. So past that you can do anything with these like again you can change the color and you can actually go in here and uh, and choose different attributes that you want for this SVG. For example you can change loop to false under the trash can and if you save it it will open once and then it won't open again. Hold on it hasn't switched over yet. Good. So it'll open once and then not open again. Um, and then you can also change the autoplay to false and so the autoplay and the loop both being set defaults means that only once you click this will that show. So that's also pretty cool, right? It won't autoplay it. And then of course you can change the animation data and you can really go in and to your heart's content, customize these to whatever you want. So again, that is using shape.so. It's a really cool platform that my friend turned me on to that has thousands of custom animated icons and illustrations that are always adding more. And as I said, now you can get it for $60, which is 50% off uh, the normal price. So just click the link below if you wanna check out shape.so. The link below is an affiliate link, so if you buy this, I make a little commission off of it so I can continue with these videos. But uh, if you don't wanna use it, feel no pressure. But again, I hope you enjoy, and hopefully this will make your apps stand out even more. I'm Brandon Styles. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if that was helpful, and I'll see you next time.